What a moment. We'll be right back. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. DA, it's all yours. For a long time, the Raptors playing in Canada was seen by some as a detriment to their competitive prospects. Players dealt with issues like passports, different money, going through customs, and on and on. But now the Raptors use it as a strength, not as a weakness. They have a whole nation behind them. And they have Toronto, a diverse city with global engagement. Kevin? And the game is going global. You're right. Thank you, D.A. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking coming up for the Charlotte Hornets. On Wednesday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Friday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of game. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. We've got Hernan Gomez, Washington out there with Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then there's Batum, and it's Rozier in at the point guard. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. And it's Johnson in at the three, the small forward. So off the tip, it's Charlotte. Batum against Lowry, knocks it loose. And here is Rozier. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Ron Gomez. And at last, they get one to fall. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. Oh, man, these fans are pumped. I expect them to be loud tonight. It should be a great game. Now, here's Siakam. Here's Lowry, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Chris, you played only two seasons with Golden State, your first and your last. What was it like ending your career where you started? Well, I'll tell you what, that's the reason why I went back to Golden State was to retire there. I only played oh. nine games my last season, but I, I felt like it was a full circle. It was completion of uh, being in front of those fans that gave me so much energy there at Oracle Arena. Uh, the ones that showed me so much love as as, as a rookie, I mean, I couldn't even, my goatee didn't even uh, connect in. I couldn't even grow hair on my face then. And to come back as, a, as an old man my last year, uh, it, it was a lot of, it was a blessing to see those same faces of people who support me. By the way, that is a sweet goatee you're wearing tonight. I just want to tell you. Uh, thank you. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. <laughs> That one misses. And he sinks the second. Yeah, and the Hornets, uh, they'll be one of the more disciplined teams you'll find in this league. I mean, they keep mistakes to a minimum on both sides of the ball. That's a big part of why the Hornets are tough to play. Now here's Johnson. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Back to Lowry. Shot clock at six. Great tee that time from Batum. Some very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. And Chris, for the Hornets, as we know, their coach Borrego preaches preparation. Well, yeah, and it shows it up in the stats, Kevin. I mean, they're the best in taking care of the ball. The team does not take silly fouls on defense. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley. -oop. And, Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. Yeah. 
Now, here's Rogier. He's coming off a 13-point game against New York. Outside, Batum. Pass to Washington. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Here's Washington. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Johnson attacking. He can't get it to go. Great D that time from Batum. Passes it to Rogier. Back to Batum. Takes the three. Kept alive by Charlotte. Hernan Gomez kicks to Rozier. Now the pass to Batum. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Up. Here's Kid Gilchrist. That's short off the rim. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Oh, textbook defense. I mean, oh, no. oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and this team depends on Lowry. I mean, so skilled at creating shots for himself or his teammate. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Dives for it, and it's out of bounds. The Raptors will take it the other way. Well, you got to help out the team whenever you can, and this group of shooting guards have helped out on the glass for their respective teams this year. Kyle Lowry third. Well, it's not easy to do what these players have done in that area, strictly because of positioning. I mean, typically a two-guard, you're not in tight when a shot goes up. So competing for rebounds is that much more difficult. Yeah, and the energy they show on the glass is outstanding. They work so hard to paint. And he feeds it to Gasol. Tries again. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry using that big body. I mean, Casal able to absorb contact. That's what you want from your big man. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. Yeah, Greg, and when you're not connecting from deep, you got to mix it up. I mean, look to score inside more. They didn't do enough of that. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Lowry. 11th in assists, and he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And he really is the consummate playmaker, always keeping his head on a swivel, searching for the open man, completely unselfish basketball player. Toronto on defense. Hernan Gomez passes to Kid Gilchrist. Back to Hernan Gomez. Just four to shoot. Rogier for three. A new 14 for Charlotte. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. And, and already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Hornets trail by five. Here's Washington. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. On the wing, Batum. Offensive rebound. Kid Gilchrist fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. I love how Kid Gilchrist maintains his focus at all times. Even when he's getting fouled, he possesses the strength to bury the shot. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. free throw no good and the potential that kid gilchrist has is exciting a rangy defender who is finding his offense slowly for surely yeah first year uh for coach borrego uh, as a head coach but he had a solid start he's uh from the popovich coaching tree uh, he was given the reins of the hornets and he was tasked with improving their offense he has the washington yeah, 
He kicks to Batum. Pass to Rogier. And Gasol sends it back. Wow. Trying to challenge Gasol. Big time two way player. He gets it done on both ends. Here's Siakam. Some solid defense from Kid Gilchrist. And with Borrego as coach, offense certainly was more fluid. Yeah, Borrego, he, he stresses ball movement. He encourages his players to look for early offense, more spacing in the system that benefits the whole roster. Here's Rogier. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. Uh, no question, G.A. I mean, it takes skill and a certain level of fearlessness. And they double up Gasol. On the wing, Johnson. From the arc. That shot off. Great D that time from Batum. To the inside. And that one is stuffed right through. Well, when Batum, Kevin, spots a wide-open teammate, he zips the rock to him quickly. Just exceptional vision. Passes it to Van Vliet. Here's Johnson. Left side Gasol. Over Herman Gomez. And the Raptors miss again. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Lowry against Batum. The kick out to Rozier. And it's Rozier again missing. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He, he's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. It's a three-point game. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. They get Marcus Gasol. Oh, you got to love Rozier. Skying up for the dunk. Really seizing the opportunity and capitalizing with this tremendous leap in the building. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol. Rondé Hollis Jefferson comes in for Stanley Johnson. And it's Powell in for Fred Van Vliet. And then for Charlotte, Cody Zeller's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Williams comes in for Kid Gilchrist. And it's Bridges in for Washington. That one drops. He ties it up. Well, the Raptors' Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season. Greg is an NBA head coach. The first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it. Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe. And this summer, he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. And a chance to take a look at some numbers for Siakam. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Now Rogier. He has seven from past the arc. And it's Kyle Lowry with the rebound. Toronto's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. There's the pass to Hollis Jefferson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his third assist on the night. Hornets trail by three. Rozier with the ball. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. The Raptors making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. And the Hornets with possession here. And it's Rozier again missing. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Pass to Lowry. Now 
Pass to Ibaka. Just five on the clock. Let's it fly from 18. That's good from Lowry on the assist from Ibaka. And now a five-point Toronto lead. Batum against Powell. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Toronto. They're in the upper part of the conference records right now. Win fifth place. And, of course, Charlotte. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And I think for Charlotte, with the start they've had, they've taken what was such a hopeful preseason and turned the mood sour. Uh, well, it's clear they didn't do enough in the offseason to make any kind of major improvement. Uh, they're, they're in for a long year. And the basket by Rozier. Oh, beautiful-looking three-ball from Rozier, really expanding his range. Toronto's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Lowry kicks to Powell. Back to Lowry. To the paint. The 11-footer. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That is his first foul of the game. The Hornets trail. Now, here's Rogier. Ten points for him. Out to the wing. And here is Bridges. Passes it to Batum. From deep. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And with the pause here, how about the stats for Rogier? Averaging 15 points a game. Five assists and four rebounds. And he does so much for this team, but it starts with the way he leads the offense. Yeah, he's willing to take on the scoring load, and he's more than capable of delivering. Lowry feeling it out a bit. And there's the pass to Ibaka. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. A minute 50 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Rogier. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. On up the court. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. 129 left here in the opening quarter. Now Batum, who's coming off a 13-point game against New York. Zeller passes to Rogier. Over Lowry, and the basket by Rogier. Rogier's got 12. He must have a real good feel for the fadeaway. I mean, he uses it even when no one's on him. Yeah, with Cody Zeller, he has a very workmanlike approach when he's on the floor. Yeah, Kevin, and that's what Zeller is all about, playing a simple meat and potatoes type game. I mean, what he does won't show up in the box score, but it'll show up in the standings. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. Uh oh, that's how you play it. He does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Williams kicks to Batum. Charlotte moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Inside. And he gets the bucket. That's just years of experience coming into play. But Toon's aggressiveness and basketball savvy, I mean, it puts defenders in difficult spots. Rozier against Lowry. Ibaka outside. Here's the three. The Hornets pull it in. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. In this game, just the first of four meetings between these two. They'll get quite familiar with each other by season's end. I look forward to seeing which team can dictate the style of play. I mean, that's going to set the tone for this entire series. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Raptors lead by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring.
Now a veteran in the NBA, Serge Ibaka, talked about his role on this team. I like to do all those little things, running up and down, blocking shot, and straight to the floor, making open shot, you know, rolling the basket, screen, you know, those dirty work. I like to do that. And Ibaka, Greg, a great complimentary play. And you like his combination of size and skill, able to impact the game at both ends on a high level. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen so far from the Raptors, guys, your thoughts? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Showing no mercy right now. The shooters look frustrated seeing so many of their shots get stifled. Ananobi out there with Ibaka. Then there's Norman Powell. And it's McCaw in at the shooting guard. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. The shoe culture becoming a bigger part of the game. Signature shoes, custom shoes, collections. P.J. Tucker with over 4,000 pairs of shoes. I, C. Weber, are you a collector? Take a break. I, I love Take it, and, and it's all because Please of the stop. Jordan phenomenon, what Michael Jordan did for the game, not just with the shoe, but what he did for the game and, and making it be so cool in the culture. And I, I got to give uh, my boys in Michigan, I got to give us a little credit, too, uh, with what we did there. But the shoe game has definitely become something that's just crazy out of control. I love it, but no, yeah, I'm a little bit of a collector. <laughs> And so he hits both. Hornets trail by five. Pass to Rogier. And the foul called on OG and an OB. That's his first foul. Now here's Zeller. He's covered closely. Six on the shot clock. Goes up to the stripe. Kept alive. Biombo. And the rejection by Ibaka. Well, you can't blame the defender. He was trying to be aggressive. But Zeller with just too much size and athleticism. The Hornets shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. He hits the second from the line. Raptors leading by four. Powell with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Rogier with the steal. And now here's Rogier, the fast break chance. Got a piece of it, but he recovers it. The second chance effort. The shot, no good. Ibaka with some nice D. Ahead, here's Ananobi. Finished off the break. Ananobi's got his second basket of the night. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. So Rogier will bring it up for Charlotte. They trail by six. Outside Batum. Zeller inside. Here's Biombo. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for the Raptors. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Pass to Ibaka. Shoots over Biombo. Almost, but it rolls out. Hornets trail by three. Here's Batoon. That's good, and it's Rogier with the assist. 
more than comfortable catching and firing. You gotta be aware of Batum. He has a ton of confidence in himself. Van Vliet looking around. Here's Abaka. Got it. Good job in the low post. Abaka's got five points so far. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Here's Batum. Passes to Rogier. McCaw grabs the miss. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. They get it back. And Batum has arms that go on forever and ever and ever, which is why he's so dangerous when it comes to shot block. Batum with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, one of the reasons Toronto was able to win the NBA championship was the astronomical improvement from Pascal Siakam, who was recognized as the league's most improved player. It was the dream of Pascal's late father that he'd reached this level, and his determination to make that reality has brought him a long way from home. Kevin? It has indeed, D.A. Great story, and thank you. And the Hornets, as a franchise, trying to figure out their direction. Yeah, the team was torn on whether to rebuild or go for the playoffs. The fan base, well, they were split as well on what to do. I mean, it's, it's been this way for years. The team is just stuck in the middle. Good work there as it goes. Van Vliet's got the lead up to seven now for the Raptors. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. So it's the Hornets now. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Rozier. It's good. He's got 14. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Now here's Van Vliet. Rozier defending. Now here's Van Vliet. A 14-point game for him in the win against Dallas. Here's Ananobi. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Outside, Batum hits it from three-point range. Oh, man, elevating his passing ability. Dimes like this from Rozier help him establish chemistry with his guys. The pass to McCaw. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Nine points last game. Lock at six. Pass to Abaka. Shoots over Biombo. Sinks the 15-footer. Abaka's got four points now in the quarter. And for a big guy who came into the league fairly raw, Ibaka's jump shot now looks second nature. Hornets trail by four. And the Hornets call time here. Hey, Chris, with Dirk retiring, who now has the best fadeaway, you think, in the game from the post position? It's a man that stole his move. Now, he didn't need to steal it. He just added on to his game. He's, he's a great person. He's not a thief, but he uses that one-leg kick fadeaway, and he's the same height as Dirk. Well, that's Kevin Durant, the best fadeaway in the game, mm. period. Towns is developing a nice one, too. Oh, you know what? I love Towns' games inside, and what makes Towns so good is that he can fade away over the right shoulder. And you know why that makes it so tough? Because he can come over the left shoulder with a jump hook. Most guys with the best fadeaways, they have a counter that already gets you hung in on that counter, and then when you're thinking about that original move, bam, it hits you with the fadeaway. The Hornets have converted four of seven free throws on the night. But well, so far, if you look at the totality, Batum has put together a very impressive career. He's had a great stroke from outside in addition to his outstanding defense. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. And, and he's matured in this league. I, I love the way Nick Batum has done a better job of letting the game come to him. It has made him a more overall efficient type wing. Here's McCaw. Stolen away. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Latoum passes to Hernan Gomez. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Johnson. And here's the fast break. Siakam leading the way. 
And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And Chris, to add to that trend for Batum, last year taking less threes, but making them at a better rate. Yeah, and he's also had fewer turnovers while still creating just as often for others. When he slows it down and doesn't force things, Kev, that's when Batum is at his best. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Clock at four. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Van Vliet passes to Gasol. Back to Van Vliet. The dish to Gasol over Hernan Gomez. And again, no good by Toronto. Here's Washington. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Poked away, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here's Charlotte. Hernan Gomez finds Batum. The three hits the three-point bomb. Batum's got ten points now, just in this quarter. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end, and he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Van Vliet passes to McCaw. To the middle. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Nicholas Batum. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Raptors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Two shots. First free throw is good. And some changes here for the Hornets. Marvin Williams is checked in for Bacon. And it's Miles Bridges in for Washington. And so he makes both from the line. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. They trail by one. Running Gomez kicks to Bridges. And he uses the glass on the layup. Bridges has got his first bucket in this one. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. Oh, here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closer. Outside Gasol. Johnson, a wide open look, misses the three. Here are the Hornets with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run right now. Here's Bridges, and Gasol sends it back. But they'll get another chance. Batum with the ball. Now guarded by Siakam. Six on the shot clock. Batum passes to Hernan Gomez. Goes back up. The putback. The putback. And finally, that one's good. Now it's a three-point Hornets lead. They are just killing them on the interior. Down low. Tries it from nine. Misses off the right iron. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You got to have a body on him right away. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. And a moment now to check out some of the numbers for Marc Gasol. He's averaging about 19 points per, nine rebounds, and three assists. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable tenacity going to the glass. He's been reflected in that statue. And they pick up two. Terrific off the catch. I mean, Gasol right into the shooting motion. Charlotte's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And on Gomez, down low. Working on Gasol. Rejected by Gasol. And the dunk by Powell. 
Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Charlotte trailing. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Outside, Kid Gilchrist. That one, no good. And Toronto will come the other way. They want to keep it rolling here following the win against Dallas. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. They just looked a step quicker all game long. They knew they had an advantage on offense. Powell with the steal. The drive by Lowry. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. And it's eight points for Kyle Lowry. And the recognition Gasol has is tremendous. I mean, you can't leave anyone open or he'll find it. Hornets trail by three. And Batum kicks to Williams. Batum against Lowry. Hernan Gomez. Good D by Siakam. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And, and the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam got better in every statistical category. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And it's those diamond in the rough players that so often elevate the top teams. And Greg, that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam. No doubt. The 27th pick back in 2016. Now a full-time starter on a rookie contract just over two mil this season. He is due for a big raise. One forty-nine left in the second quarter. Kid Gilchrist finds Batum. It's good from long range. Batum's got 15 points. Well, with Batum, he feels comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. As dangerous as a score as there is in the game. Batum against Lowry. Pass to Gasol. And they double up Gasol. Five on the clock. Here's Siakam. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Marvin Williams. Uh, and if you don't think about it, Gasol is a tricky cover. I like how he just drew contact. Rondo shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. And he can't hit the second. As he enters his mid-30s, Mark Gasol showing no signs of slowing down. If anything, I think he's a better all-around basketball player. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurting. Very pretty alley-oop layup. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. It's a five-point game. Kicks it to Bridges from deep. But they get it back. And that's a good job of just getting after it on the backboard. Gets him another possession and allows them to run even more clock. To the inside, here's Siaka. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. And here's Batum. 15 points in the game. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's in there. Batum's got 17. It, it was a tough first quarter for him. But it's been a different story here in the second. Lowry against Batum. 
outside Lowry. Hernan Gomez against Gasol. Gasol is down. Banked in off the glass. Howells got the lead back up to seven now for Toronto. And immediately looking for the open man when the double team comes to him. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's the Raptors. They're up by seven. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Kyle Lowry. Kyle, you came out strong to take advantage in the first half. Were you pleased with the effort? Yeah, uh, we got to keep it up. Our defensive intensity has to stay high. That has led to some great play at the other end. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. The first half was all about Pascal Siakam. He had 12 points and one rebound. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game, Ronnie. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? Well, obviously, they were outshot. I thought they mailed it in too many times in terms of their effort. People weren't moving, they weren't screening, and they definitely weren't up. They need to hit the ground running to be competitive in the second half, or they could get blown out. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You got to like what Nicholas Batum has done in this game. Yeah, and he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. Yeah, you must try to match his energy level first and foremost. But right now, he's just out hustling guys to the ball. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Toronto leading by seven. Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. They've got Batum. Running Gomez out there with Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then there's Terry Rozier, and it's Washington in at the small forward position. Outside, Kidd Gilchrist got a piece of it. Here's Van Vliet. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got his seventh assist here tonight. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Rozier. He kicks it to Batum. Some solid defense from Gasol. Now Van Vliet. Outside Lowry. Back to Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. Here's Siakam. And he overshot that one, missing. Hornets trail by nine. Washington passes to Batum. Second shot opportunity. And again, the Hornets missing. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Charlotte's had to wait a bit the last few years. Now, the city hosted the All-Star game last season. But for the Hornets, they've gone three seasons without a playoff appearance and 15 seasons without winning a playoff series. In that time, the franchise has had seven head coaches and a shifting front office. But Buzz City is hoping that its wait for playoff relevance will end soon. Kevin? We all are. David, thank you. 
An 0 for 3 start to the first half is finally behind them. I mean, now maybe they can get something rolling. Lowry kicks to Van Vliet. No good on the triple. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. To the paint. And Kid Gilchrist throws it down. And Kid Gilchrist is very skilled at throwing it down. The D can't allow him to get that close to the cup. Lowry against Batu. Lowry with the ball. He's got 10. Outside Gasol. Here's Johnson, and it's blocked. Now, the length of Kid Gilchrist, that's what allows him to catch up with these shots. A sensational shot blocker from behind. Andre Hollis Jefferson, he's checked in for the Raptors. The Hornets also changing it up. Biambo comes in for Hernan Gomez. And Cody Zeller subbed in for Michael Kid Gilchrist. Here's Biambo. No good that time. Good D by Gasol. Here's Lowry. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. The pass to Washington. Dishes at two platoon. Pass to Rozier. It's rebounded by Gasol. Gasol's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And the basket by Lowry. Deceptive and skilled at that guard position. When Lowry's scoring like this, good luck trying to defend him. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for Charlotte. They trail by 11. Pass to Batum. Six to shoot. Passes it to Zeller. It's rebounded by Gasol. Gasol's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Siakam outside. And the pass to Van Vliet. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Hollis Jefferson's got the lead up to 13 now for Toronto. Hornets have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Batum scanning the floor. Now, here's Biombo. Here's Zeller over Lowry. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Now here's Van Vliet. Rogier defending. Van Vliet with the bucket. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And here's Batum. He's got 17. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Basket good. Rogier's got 16 points. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the room. And it's Lowry penetrating. Siakam. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Zeller's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And now let's bring up the 2K leaderboard so we can see and check out some of the most feared defenders in the league. The steel leaders among shooting guards. Kyle Lowry third. And this is a very intense group. I mean, those steals don't come by accident. I mean, they've gotten them through the effort. And they're willing to expend that kind of energy on that aspect of the game. Take a break. Yeah, yeah, Take a break. This is the kind of active Two defense shots. that these guys play. It, it requires a lot of stamina, but they don't have an off switch. They're all effort all the time. No good on the free throw. 
Chris, are there specific types of plays where you feel the whistle gets blown maybe a little too often and a little too early? But, well, sometimes uh, for a guard, when he's defending the guard and the pick and roll comes and he fights through that pick, and as a guard or offensive player, I can stop right. and let you bump into me right. and shoot the ball. I think the refs just they just have to be smart with it. Sometimes it's a foul, but every time it's not just because of the situation uh, or, or, or the flop. And, and also, you just, you just don't want players to be bailed out when the defender is in a good position. But that's what makes the game so great is the fact that as an offensive player, you got to try to manipulate and find out where you can sneak yourself in the gray areas of a rule. And as a defensive player, how can you use your skill, your will, and then your IQ not to get caught with your hand in the cookie jar? Rozier against Lowry. And the rejection by Ibaka. Just insane length and leaping ability. Ibaka can reject shots from anywhere on the floor. Now he's jacked in for McCall. Rozier looking around. Six on the shot clock. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Lowry drawing the double team. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Back to Powell. Beyond the arc. Hornets with the rebound. Biombo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And there's the foul. It goes on Serge Ibaka. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Washington. Lowry against Rogier. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And there's the foul. It's called on Toronto. Oh, the fearlessness by Rogier. That's what helps him earn the trip to the strike. And one of those little spark plug guys, Terry Rogier, plays the game with, a, Greg, I think a chip on his shoulder. I mean, the story goes, as a kid, when his temper flared, his mother would have to sit on him until he cooled down. He, he's learned to channel that fire and emotion into his game. Here's Ananobi. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Here's Ananobi. Lowry inside the line. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got rebound number five here tonight. Passes to Rogier. To the middle. A nice shot by Zeller. Look, he has a good feel for the painted area. Zeller, never in a rush. Very deliberate with his moves. And it's Lowry penetrating, and it's good for two. Lowry's got 16. Hornets trail by nine. Now Rozier. 19 points in the game. Biombo kicks to Rozier. Feeds to Zeller. At the top of the key, Bridges. There's Bacon. Offensive rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Clearly a foul. The Hornets have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. And he makes the first. Marvin Williams has checked in for the Hornets. Biombo drops them both. Raptors leading by seven. Outside Lowry. Powell, no one around him. No good with the triple. The Hornets on offense. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. Here's Rozier. It's deflected. Here's Hollis Jefferson. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. This is why coaches talk about playing with pace 
the scoreboard tells it all. Yeah, because it's so hard to prevent transition scores. Whenever you get an opportunity to get out and run, you take it. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. And just very little chance of that pass finding the target from that distance. Toronto's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Lowry kicks to Powell. Over to the left wing. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for Charlotte. 11-point game. Let's a floater go. And the layup is up and in. Rogier's got seven now in this quarter. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about fear. The pass to Ananobi. Bridges with the board. Hornets trail by nine. Here's Bacon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Biombo with it. Rogier for three. Williams shot is off. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Outside Lowry. Lowry drawing the double team. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lowry. And the Raptors making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Bismack Biombo. And Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Bacon. Toronto leading by nine. Left side Lowry. There's Alice Jefferson. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. Powell for three. He's got to be disappointed with his performance, but it'll be easier to swallow if they keep the lead. And Stanley Johnson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. The Hornets have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. I tell you, Bridges, you see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts are coming along. Let's the three fly, and that's good. Norman Powell for three. Powell's got seven points. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give. Hornets trail by 11. Now, here's Rogier. 21 points in the game. Pass to Bridges. And here is Kid Gilchrist. To the wing on the left. Five to shoot. Here's Rogier. Hernan Gomez. The putback is no good. Raptors leading by 11. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. And now here's Rogier, the fast break chance. Another shot. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez has got his third bucket of the night. Now, with all the intensity he plays with, boxing him out is a chore. A tough one. Here's Lowry. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Rogier's got his fourth rebound in this one. Out left to the wing. With the teardrop, basket counts. Rogier's got 23. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Powell. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Williams is running. And he can't jam it through. He's not about to get dunked on. The last line of defense coming up big. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. For Toronto, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. The free throw drops for Powell. Hornets trail by 10. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. 
Rozier against Lowry. Now, here's Rozier, guarded closely. Down to five on the shot clock. And no good that time. That's one he knows he should have drained. And so it's Toronto with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Hornets trail by 10. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. And it's Johnson in at the small forward. Rozier, that misses off the backboard. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, and when Johnson is taking it strong like that, he's looking for the foul. Great job getting the contact on the shot. And he knocks down the first one. And Johnson, the former Arizona Wildcats, certainly has a bright future in this league. The combination of shooting, speed, and length he possesses is just exciting. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Bridges. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Here's Batum. Baseline try. Good work defensively by Lowry. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. Marcus Gasol's checked in for Serge Ibaka. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Toronto. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Pass to Rozier. Lowry against Batum. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. With the floater, and it's Rozier missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent. Uh -huh. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. He's off on the first. And the Hornets making a change here. Washington's checked in. And the second free throw, good. And just like his brother Powell, Marcus Gasol active in humanitarian causes. I mean, we saw him volunteering on rescue boats in the Mediterranean. Mark doing his part, but also bringing attention to that humanitarian crisis. Wide open. And it's Washington missing. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. But you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. 
And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Hernan Gomez passes to Rogier, lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Rogier's got 11 in the second half. And here is Van Vliet. Outside Gasol. Back to Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. Kicks to Johnson. Over Hernan Gomez. And there's Mark Gasol on the assist by Johnson. And it's seven points for Mark Gasol. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Rozier the pass to Batum. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Johnson. It helps when Batum is looking for his shot. His assertiveness forces the defense to act. Zeller, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Both free throws good from Batum. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Now here's Van Vliet. Rogier defending. They get it back. Here's Gasol. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. And that's just experience. I mean, that's just knowing what's going to happen. Gasol, I mean, he has an elite feel for the game. And that one falls for Marcus Hall. And the former second-round pick. Gasol's become an elite player at his position. He's a force at both ends. And so Marcus Hall nails both of them. Hornets trail by 15. Now Rogier. Outside Batum. Yes, that goes in. Batum's got four this quarter. Oh, and Batum just has astounding body control, which is what allows him to hit shots despite obvious physical contact. Now here's Van Vliet. D right on him. Doesn't go that time. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. They get the rebound. Good on that shot. And with that, the Toronto lead is cut to just 11 points in the basket from Washington. The Raptors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet for three. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Batum inside the three-point line, and he gets it to go. Batum's got 23 points. And really, Batum is so adept at draining these shots off the drive, using his speed and athletic frame to easily coast to the rim. Johnson surveying the floor. Lowry inside the line. The shot, no good. And the Hornets now going the other way. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. A five-time All-Star. Lowry has come a long way since being drafted 24th overall back in 2006. And he can't get the first one. And the NBA is seeming to be at the crossroads of sports and oh. fashion and, and Chris music. Do you think it's oh, always Lord, been God. this interwoven? 
Oh, Kevin, please. You see the outfits they're wearing now? Now I got to be like the I old do. buddy duddy, the old guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Guys are basically coming into the game like, did you turn on the lights before you got dressed in your clothes? Yeah. I mean, I know it's fashion. I'm not speaking about any one guy, but wow. I'm telling you, they're taking fashion to another level. And even though I joke about it, it's always fun anticipating what type of outfit I want to see guys walk in, especially, I mean, come on. I love their games, and then I look and I say, wow. They have to be confident on the court because they wore that to the game. They're confident in life all around. Overall, right. <laughs> yeah. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Rozier against Siakam. Kid Gilchrist looking around. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Oh, it's crucial for Kid Gilchrist that he nails these shots. Always working on expanding his game. Toronto calls timeout. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen by Van Vliet break here come the Raptors the three from Johnson it's rebounded by Kid Gilchrist and the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance still over from the field Raptors leading by 16 kicks it out to Johnson the feet to Gasol and when you play the kind of tough inside game that Gasol does I mean get used to taking a few knocks. The first one falls. And so Gasol nails them both. And here's Rozier. He brings it up for the Hornets. They trail by 18. He kicks it to Batum. Back to Rozier. Looking to get back on track here. And misses it off the right side of the rim. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Now here's Van Vliet. Rogier defending. And it goes down two points. Van Vliet's got 12 points here in the second half. Hey, he, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Hornets trail by 20. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Rogier. Softly drops in the floater. Rogier's got four this quarter. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, oh, that's all about fear. Passes it to Johnson. Here's Siakam. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Siakam's got 19 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Oh, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. Now, here's Rogier. Not a lot of room. No good with the elbow jumper. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Oh, textbook defense. I mean, it took a good angle to the shooter and bothered the release. Hey, Chris, for some guys, playing in their hometown is a dream. 
but there's also that added pressure, isn't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, at least when you play away from home, uh, it's a little more quiet. You don't have to get as many tickets for the game. When I got a chance to play home in Detroit, it was one of the best moments of my life. And I thought to myself, this is a wonderful feeling, but could I have handled it for 15 years in my right. career? I, I don't know. That's 30 tickets a game. Oh, I, <laughs> I probably would have to go back into the NBA again just to pay for those tickets. But I tell you what, it's fun. And, and for me, a mama's boy, eating your mama's cooking before a game, it is never ever I've never had a better feeling before a game eating her food I than bet. being able to go out and play I yeah. bet and the Hornets making a change here Herning Gomez is checked in and he makes the first but misses the second and finished off by Gasol this is why you got to put a body on Gasol great size and anticipation on the glass so it's the Hornets now Rozier kicks to Hernan Gomez. Rozier against Johnson. Here's Washington. He's off on that one. Good D by Siakam. And the Raptors with possession. They're on an 18 to 6 run. Van Vliet passes to Gasol and finished off by Gasol. Yeah, right to the rim, now, Greg. And once Gasol gets this close, he can miss the flush. Here's Rogier. Second chance shot. Yeah, easy call. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. And the NBA 2K League, see Webb, the first eSport operated by a U.S. pro sport. And it's quickly growing. Do you throw down on the, on the sticks? Yeah, just a little announcement to all the GMs in the 2K League. I am available. I'm a free agent. I'm ready to go. I'm nice on the sticks. I can play career mode, team mode, one-on-one -on -one mode. Whatever you need from me, I am ready to go. But I love it, man. It's great to see people who love this game, whether it's virtual or real life. It's hoops, baby. So much fun. Toronto's gone 2-5 of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Inside, Hernandez. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Charlotte shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Rozier with the ball. again they get a bet Hernan Gomez and finally they hit one a defensive breakdown there no doubt about it I mean he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively he lobs up the alley you pass and really the story of this second half one team getting the shots they want the other not so much yeah, you can clearly see which offense is better right now we'll, we'll see if that continues the rest of the way Now, here's Rogier, covered by Van Vliet. Makes it off the glass. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 19 rebounds. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 131 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Hernandez. He can't get that one to fall. And the Hornets now going the other way. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Raptors. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take that first win of the season series to establish a psychological edge. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Mark Gasol.
he came out and let everyone know that points would be hard to come by with the way he swatted away shots and protected the rim. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. Thomas, no good. Here's the Hornets with the ball. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Another shot. He lays it in. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. And those long arms of Kia Gilchrist come in handy on the offensive glass, just scouring for any second-chance opportunities he can get. Outside Thomas. Here's McCall. Out to the right wing. Lowry for three. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Now, here's Monk. Defense right on him. And there's the pass to Martin. Back to Monk. Launches it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Mark, we know how important home court is, but especially for you guys down here in Memphis, What's the importance of defending that home court for the team? We need a win. We need, a, we, we need to win, especially at home. Home is always important, and, uh, you know, uh, we, need, we need every single one of them. Yeah, FedEx was really kicking tonight, and you guys made that happen. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA. Presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.